Hey guys, it's uh, DM Hex here. Before we begin chapter two, uh, I just wanted to make things clear uh, that I have combined the groups A and B, and uh, now we have one group with a maximum of six players at any given time. Uh, there will be two players from the former group B moving over to join us for the next two scenarios, uh, and those two will be Don and Fuyu. Their characters will basically not have anything that happened in the recordings of Group B Scenario 1 uh, have happened. They're starting fresh, pretty much as new characters, starting out at level 2. Uh, that's how this will be moving forward. Uh, does a lot to make sure that I don't have to do tons of work behind the scenes. Uh, pretty much reduces my workload by 50%, actually. Because uh, now I only have to prepare one campaign at a time and uh, keep track of one game time instead of two. Uh, so that really puts a lot of load off my shoulders. So with that being said, please enjoy the recording for the first part of Chapter 2. Alright, three, two, one, and we're starting! So, we are uh, beginning Chapter 2 now, uh, and this chapter is known as... Eviction Notice. Before we begin, uh, the four of you from Group A uh, are going to have four months of downtime to do whatever you wish. Uh, you can read any tomes that you have. You can, uh, you can try to improve your sanity if you're missing that kind of stuff. You can try to improve skills. Uh, you can double down on your careers and earn a lot of money or a, a career advancement in your credit rating. Uh, you can investigate missing links and, uh, and loose ends from your first investigation. You could just sit and chill. Uh, just what would you be doing in your free time for the next four months? Four of us? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, well Kaya... Well, you Kaya has already chosen, and I have handled that. Uh, she uh, is reading her occult book that she got, which she completes, uh, gains plus five to her occult skill from that, and then she has decided that she is going to uh, uh, continue studying occult matters. Uh, and from doing that, she has advanced her skill an additional uh, eight points, so she has gained... 13, 13 points in occult skill, raising it from 29 to 42. And, uh, Randy, you, don't forget your character only has three months because you were insane. Ah, uh, yes. Well, no, you, you weren't insane. You were bedridden with a, with a horrible disease. Oh, so now it's only a month? No, you, you, I thought, I, no, 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 no. I thought you, it was the whole... You, 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 you have downside. three months. You have three months. Okay. Yeah, you, you spent a month, uh, mainly because uh, your other three friends got uh, got arrested. <laughs> so apparently. Fluff, Fluff uh, had to pause their treatment of you. Oof. So, uh, Mr. Lawton, what are you wishing to do with your uh, three months? Is there not is there not like an an animal training or like animal handling skill? Uh, let's see. Um, for animal handling, I would put that under. It depends on what you're doing with it. Are you trying to uh, are you trying to learn to like ride horses or? Yeah. Ah, yeah. then that would be the ride skill. Okay. You used to learn how to ride a horse, do you? Uh, yes. So that I can have my own mode of transportation. <laughs> okay. Uh, that would also require one, getting a horse, but uh, yeah. Uh, you could take some horse riding classes. That would take you about uh, two of your three months. Uh, okay. Now, is that to just get time. good enough? Now, is that to just, like, get like decent at it not like super expert just like you know how to ride a horse is that the two uh months? yeah so you're 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 making a focused effort to uh to learn 
Uh, okay. So, w with Havoc, you can actually do it in less than two months, but it requires an additional, like, intelligence roll to make sure you can grapple with the lessons in, like, a, in, like, a, ex uh, in an expedient manner. Uh, so, but because you have the full two months, you don't need that. Uh, okay. So, uh, roll against your current ride skill. You have a 95% chance to basically learn some new stuff. Okay. And click. Oh. Right. Uh, oh, that is a fumble, which is actually really good. Because that means you're going to gain bonus skill. Uh, so Ooh. I would like you to roll. Uh, and by doing... If you want to roll a custom die like this such as like a d6 or uh, or a d10 uh, you'll go to the chat and type in chat slash r uh, and I want you to type uh, is it forward or back uh, forward slash so okay. the one with the question mark so forward slash r and okay. then space 2d6 2d6 okay. and hit enter yep so that's a five, and then you, and then we add two to that. So you have gained seven points in the ride skill, increasing it to twelve percent. Woohoo! And you so, still have another month to do anything yeah. you want. And then I put that up to twelve. Then. Yep. So you now know how to, you you now know the basics of riding horses. Okay, that's all I wanted to do for that. Um. Still have another. <clears throat> hmm. What would be? What would be worth it? If you wish to uh, take another class to improve a skill, uh, you would need an intelligence roll to do it because it would be expedient. Okay. Oh, so it takes uh, two months every time. Yeah. Uh, okay. You can also you can also use this time to like go to stores and re re like re up your equipment, uh, get new things. Uh, basically, if you can afford them, uh, you can double down on like overtime for work to be able to afford things. Uh, which, considering your credit rating, that might be an okay thing to do with your time. Uh, you can gain some extra cash that way. Okay. Uh, but if you if you want to go find a horse, you would be able to do that. You mean just find one in the wild? No, no. no if you want to go to or like, like or, want to um, go buy one. I don't know if I can afford one. Do you know how ridiculously <laughs> expensive horses are? Uh, he did just get a lot of cash. Mm. Oh. Be to buy a new car nowadays. Okay, well that's nowadays. Hmm. Playing in the 20th century. This is cowboy times. No, it's not. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cowboy <laughs> times in the in the 1960s where they uh, get cars. Yes. Wait, no, didn't they have cars? I know. Uh, I will. Uh, I it, it's probably listed in my book exactly Boy, how much the horse would cost. I thought we were in the 1920s. Yeah, we're in the 1920s. Oh, I thought it was 60s. Hallelujah! It was 20s, yeah. It was 20s. It's the 20s. We're right before the Great Depression. So enjoy yeah. what the little depression. time you have. <laughs> 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 enjoy the times that you have right now before crap hits the fan. <sighs> oh, if I, if I didn't have a move or something, that would be I'm sorry, like, my cat, um... Uh, He's swimming on my desk and she keeps messing with my <laughs> Get him out. Go on! Ooh. Oh, wait, Fair no. enough, I had to literally console my uh, cat. Maybe, like, maybe I should, like, fix it's my ex. Isn't it dull? Uh, you can perform, uh, you can actually, uh... Like, take it somewhere to, like... You want me to help you out with uh, repairing the ex and sharpening it up again? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can do that. Uh... I could probably like spend like a couple days. Actually, yeah. Out. If you want to perform like extensive maintenance on your on your on your axe, uh, 
you can either take it to like a professional or you can have one of your friends help if any of them have some skills in it. Uh, Kaya is good with metalworking and uh, and uh, I believe uh, Adam has uh, uh, good experience with like sharpened tools and keeping them yeah. uh, done. You would also probably in your profession have uh, have experience in like maintaining your axe. Uh, you could you could like try to like upgrade it in a way so like you could make it more deadly for attack. You could uh, just make sure the blade is like really really sharp to cut through wood. Uh, and if you perform that kind of maintenance on it, I will uh, make sure that has an effect later. Okay. But um, that would be like over the course of like a couple days. I wouldn't even count it against your month. Ah, cool. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have. Uh... Adam perform extensive maintenance on it then. Okay. Okay. Uh, what would you like done to it? Like, what what is the goal of this maintenance? Um, I'd like it to be really sharp. As sharp as I can. All right. All right. In that case, uh, skill would I need to roll if like if I were to do that, or would uh, weaponsmith isn't put on here on the actual sheet. I don't believe so. Uh, mechanical repair. We'll go with that. Alrighty. Fingers crossed. Ooh, extreme success, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, so when you hand Thomas back his axe, Thomas, this axe has no. This looks freaking factory new. Uh, this thing, this thing looks really good. You've never been able to keep your axe like this good condition before. Uh, I will say that, uh, the next time you use it, uh, the, the next few times you use it, uh, I'll grant you a bonus die on, like, logging, uh, as a result right. of this maintenance. Oh, thanks, Adam. This looks yeah. really good. Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and I just still got more here. Uh, yep. Anything okay, else you want to do? Um, I'm going to go with the double down so I can earn more money. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez, I really should have made a hard and fast rule for, like, how to handle this depending on, uh, time. Uh, the, in that case, your profession is logging. So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to roll against your logging skill, uh, your art craft logging. Okay. Ooh. Oof. He's rolling 88. Oof. That is a failure. It's not quite a fumble. Uh, so you you double down on things, but uh, you know you're you're spending a lot of time doing it, but your 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 performance in your in your job isn't really standing out. So you're not really going to gain an advancement to your career, but you're putting in some extra time. So I'll say that you can add. For this next scenario, I will allow you to have a spending level of 20 instead of 10. Nice. Doubled your wealth, man. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me where that is. Uh, that should be in your... Possessions, yeah. Possessions, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm done then, huh? Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. you're you're able to edit that. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah. All right. I, All right. I, I so don't... that is that is Adam's thing. Uh, we're going. Uh, th not what Adam's. That That's Thomas's yeah, yeah. thing. We're gonna move on to. Uh, which one of you wants to go next, Adam or Fluff? I would. Adam. Adam can go next. All right, Adam. All right. You have four months. Uh, I will say that uh, the knife from the last uh. Thing is going to be taking out of your possession like a little bit after a week so if you want to do anything regarding that you have a week to do it uh honestly i don't know what i could do with the knife uh you guys right. have any idea with that honestly like uh, maybe like an idea roll or something like that i don't know uh if you if you want to investigate it at all uh you can state that intention uh and i can tell you what you would be rolling on that 
Yeah, honestly, I, I wonder what I like. I, I could do with the knife first, and yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Sorry, I'm just. Is <laughs> anybody going to encourage him to do that, or? Is... Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> you, you can do it. <laughs> Hey. I'm the person you haven't met it. yet, so I fucking do it. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. All right. All right. Just do if it, you, Dante. If you if you want to investigate it, uh, yeah. Let's see. It's only gonna be like a week, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, uh, it depends on what you do. Let me see what you can, what you even can do. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. What I was thinking uh, at first. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, you Pretty don't have nice. that skill. Uh, <laughs> you have zero percent of that skill, so you can't do it that way. Uh, so, uh, you could, you, th you think that Kaya might be able to do it, but this would be before she gets her increase to her occult skills. Uh, okay. so if you, if you want, you can hand it to her to see what she can make out of it. Honestly, yeah, I would do that. Yeah, All right. Be yeah. Uh, so let's see. Kaya is going to roll against her. Uh, yeah, her old account skill. Uh, which I forgot. Since I'm playing Kaya, I actually do have to keep this uh, roll twenty tab open. That's fine. Yeah. Because uh, nobody. Or maybe you guys actually have access to roll her skills. I don't want any of you to check that though. Just, ooh. <laughs> Just a million dollars. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I haven't wow. updated the skill, so it's fun. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, a lot of a lot of the reason why she can't. She informs you a lot of the reason why she can't really make too much of a judgment on it, is that uh, it, it, it's like blade is kind of getting disfigured by all the blood and rust that's like oxidizing on it um mm. so it, it's kind of hard to tell it's really old it's a little bit out of her uh expertise but she does she she, she she's pretty sure it's an occult thing <laughs> and that it's mm. it, it's got spooky vibes <laughs> that's what that's the answer yeah, she pretty much gives the you floor is made out of floor <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty <laughs> nice <laughs> Yeah. Right. So cool. yeah, you you really you hit a dead end there. Uh, okay. Unless you want to take it to like some other expert. I mean, maybe. But I'm, honestly, what uh, one thing I really do want to do, like for in, like a majority yeah. of my time, it would be. It, uh, it, it, it it might be a bad idea to take it to an expert, considering it is heavily coated in blood. Uh, Honestly, yeah, you're right. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> hey, just blame it on the dogs. Just blame it on the dogs. No, it always works. <laughs> that's a, that's an even more just, concerning just explanation. Like, yeah, like, just like kill the child. It's fine. <laughs> The they they have found the they have found the 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 Boston uh, doggy strangler. So yeah, you pretty much hit a dead end with the knife. You're not really sure what right. to do with it. Uh, okay, that's cool. But okay. fluff, yeah, like, like, actually, actually, fluff. Ooh. If I remember correctly, uh, mm -hmm. fluff has determined that that blade is somehow magical. They just know yeah. that. They don't know how, they don't know why, they don't know yes. why that's even possible, but they know as a fact of the matter that it is magical in some way. Oh. So that's that's the only kind of thing you know about the knife. Uh, so honestly, honestly, I'll, I mean, like, it's, yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's already gone in like a week, of course, so yeah. Yep. Yeah, so by, by now, you know, you guys have been investigated, uh, you've answered all the questions, and they've asked you to return all things. So uh, any of you who had the police flashlights, you're, you're returning those. Uh, the oh, knife man. is being removed from your from your possessions. Uh, I'm no, trying to think if there's handcuffs. anything else. Oh, you, you took handcuffs? Well, yeah, then you'd be having to return those as well. Yeah, uh, just anything. Uh, okay. But you are all, all three of you, as previously stated, are cleared of all suspicion. Uh, okay. Though you have a sinking feeling that this probably isn't quite over yet. Somebody feels like someone tried to frame you, and you have a suspicion as to who. Yeah. And cigar, cigar vendor. vendor. 
pay these stores <laughs> police equipment? Uh, yeah, well, um, the, the police were dead, so it, uh, is it stealing or just, <laughs> or that is it stealing or requisitioning? I don't, I don't know. Like, okay, if we win scissors pay for rock, we get your shit. Okay, it's a gray, yeah. it's a gray area. <laughs> I got, I got Those guys weren't going to use it anyway. They were already they're dead. Yeah, they're terrible at spare rock, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, you, oh, yeah. you. You still have about uh, you still have about fifteen of your sixteen weeks uh, that you can do really anything you want yeah. with your free uh, time. Honestly, I would love. Uh, honestly, the majority of the time, I want to uh, pursue the uh, art, music slash just you know, learning to play guitar better slash actually you know learning to repair and you know maintain slash actually sometimes even make guitars. I want to pursue the art. Right? Right. So I will. I will. I will inform you. I will inform okay. you that if you wish to do that, uh, that'll be trying to improve two skills. Uh, mm -hmm. So that'll that'll take the rest of your of your sixteen weeks. Uh, yeah, if nice. you're wishing to like take classes on those classes uh, and the like, and uh, like I should have enough uh, income for me to you know be able to kind of like just. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you, you would be able to to do that. Uh, so you want to improve your art music? In that case, you spend. Eight weeks at a class to learn uh, some art music techniques. You're learning uh, blues guitar, just a yep. like. Uh, so roll against your art music skill. Uh, okay, thirty. Oh, that's success. Success. Yeah, you don't want to succeed this because succeeding means that the class is kind of teaching things that you already know. Uh, Oof. You're not really yes. learning any any techniques. You're kind of you're kind of. Do you know how to breathe? Yes. You're okay. reinforcing. Do you know how to speak? Yes. However, uh, house rules. Uh, because I don't want you to just waste eight weeks and feel like really upset about it. If you roll mm -hmm. a regular or hard success, you do still gain one point in the skill. Uh, basically, you've mostly reinforced your already existing knowledge, but you know you're 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 a little bit more efficient and better at it. So okay. you gain a very incremental improvement <laughs> at one point. Uh, and that's eight weeks. Uh, what was the other skill you wanted to learn? Uh, just pursuing, uh, just, you know, like, uh, what was it? Ma uh, maintaining slash uh, make, uh, crafting guitars, you know, like. Man, a mechanical yeah, repair. Yeah, mixture, yeah, mixture of, uh, I think, mechanical repair and uh, woodworking because it's uh, with acoustic guitars. It would have to be one Ooh. or the other. Oof. I would say yeah. then mechanical repair in that case. All right. In that case, you are learning some some uh, classes for upkeeping uh, equipment, and you are hoping to yeah. transfer these lessons to your uh, to your art music and maybe even to your profession. Uh, so, yeah. uh, roll against your mechanical repair skill. Let's see if you can improve yeah. that. 81. Oh yeah, you're you're getting an improvement to that. So you want to type in chat uh, forward slash r one d six. R one d six. That that's it. Yep, and press enter. All right. Five. Five right. plus one is six. So you gain six points to your mechanical repair skill. All right. Uh, where do I uh, go ahead and edit the uh, changes, or do you just do yeah. it in post? Uh, you, you edit them currently, because that is now a skill that you have an improvement in. You don't want to be rolling on it with, like, your old skill. <laughs> um, looking through, I can't seem to edit it. Uh, you, there's an edit mode in the top right. There's a little slider. Mm -hmm. You'll want to click that to be able to change the values. Uh... Oh, edit mode. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah, just uh, just be be aware that while you're in edit mode, you can't click to roll on things. So you'll need to oh, turn yeah. that off to roll. Uh, but so, now yeah. you can change the value. Mm -hmm. Yep, 36. And what was mechanical repair? 56? Uh, or was it 50? Yeah, I forgot. Uh, my, my scrolling is really slow because of the frame rate. So your mechanical repair is 50, so it improves to 56. Okay. Yep. There you are a, You are a decent little bit better <sighs> at repairing things of much any nature cool. and now we move to fluff fluff if i remember correctly uh so you have 16 weeks uh i'm going to consider you taking care of thomas as just part of your normal job uh so that's not going to factor what listen i'll be right back okay 
In that case, I'll go back to the two of you. Is there, like, anything you want to, like, go out and buy in terms of, like, gaining extra possessions? Uh, anything you want to spend your newfound money that you've come into possession of in the, uh, oh. after the last investigation? I would assume when it comes to mechanical repair, uh, like, uh, in the aspect of just the, uh aspect of, you know, like the car repairment. Uh, there are a couple specific tools I've uh, known in the making uh, in terms of what was Oh, jeez. I've messed up at least Adam's spending level. I just checked it. Uh, oh, you have? Yeah, your spending level should not be 100. Wait, oh, Woo! shit. <laughs> oh, oh, it, should be, it should be 10. World it should be 10. <laughs> Whoops. World-renowned guitarist right there. <laughs> Well, a world-renowned guitar spender. That's the weird. That's the key. <laughs> let me let me check. Uh, uh, not anymore. But yeah. Well, like, next you're gonna spend money on a solid a solid gold guitar. No, I'm gonna play I'd actually it. rather just. <laughs> Adam went down to Okay, Georgia. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I didn't know. You good? All right. Wait, like if uh, if anything, I would love. Uh, I would like to see if I could try to like afford well, like specific guitar, you know, uh, tools because there are ooh. some. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, try uh, real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. Be careful because you called him by his name again. <laughs> oh, it's shit, did I? Yeah. yeah. I, I, oh didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything because it was just like really, really quick. So I was like, uh, I was, I mean, you're that, gonna that, have to bleep that out. Just bleep it. Yeah. I'll be. Yeah, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Wait, is his name Guitar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You figured it out. Holy shit, God man. Damn it. <laughs> damn. Slavery's yeah. in this. I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah. Wow, well, immersion. Yeah, if uh, there's any like guitar tools that you have of any mind in terms of uh, improving mechanical repair and the like for guitar mainly, then... You can, you can get some tools. Uh, I wouldn't say that like getting the tools allows you... I want that to have some impact if you're going okay. out of your way to get them. I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say that, it, that like if you're repairing your guitar specifically, uh, yeah. Having these tools will give you a. Uh, actually, yeah. When you're repairing your guitar specifically, you will have advantage because you oh, you will be having these tools if you go out to buy them. I see. Yeah. How about if you get like a generic toolbox? Uh, if you oh, have if you have like a toolbox, uh, I kind of have to like slightly nerf that and say that's only like a percentage increase. Uh, mm. Basically, it dep depends on it. Oh. That'll have to be yeah. something yeah, I, I, I play really like loose with, but I want it. I, yeah, it's something I'll have to play really loose with, but I want it to like actually have an impact, you know, so that it, that choice is meaningful. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you uh, are you getting like guitar repair yeah, equipment? No. Okay. Just, yeah, guitar repair equipment. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have the. We could do some in that if, in that case, I will consider that to be within your spending level. You don't even have to spend any cash on that. You can go find that. Uh, and okay. buy it, and uh, yeah, you you have some guitar repair equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, if you ever need to repair your guitar for any reason, you're gonna have advantage on that. Cool. Uh, so long as you have the tools with you. Yep, uh, of course. Cool. And Fine. Mr. Lawton, is there anything you wanted to get in specific in addition to your possessions? You have a lot of newfound cash. Yeah, that um, would depend on uh, how expensive you consider a horse to be. Ooh, I, I'm trying to find it. I, I'm I'm like surprised that I'm having so much trouble finding it listed actually. here. Uh, so, like, it should be in travel, but like, I can't find it in travel. Uh, what about like an I'm Uber? An Uber could work. <laughs> God. <laughs> Outdoor Ain't, travel gear? It's, uh, just get an Uber. eternal Uber. <laughs> just get like that one SUV <laughs> that weighs your every word, like that little bell tied up to like a uh, Uber and be like, ring, ring, ring. What's up, man? You want me to drop you off somewhere? Yeah, send me over to this place. Just has like a teleportation ability. <laughs> this guy's. <laughs> Be ring, ring, ring. All right, where do you want to go? I, I can't dogs. find it. In the in the interest of, of fast tracking this, I'm going to bullshit a price for it. Uh, so, Don said okay. Don said before that horses are a bit expensive. 
Uh, they are definitely not going to be expensive as cars nowadays, uh, especially in Boston. Uh, you're actually going to have to, like, go a little bit out of the city to find a cellar, because uh, there aren't exactly many ranches in the middle of the city. Uh, Correct. But you are able to find a cellar, and I'll say that they will sell you a horse for... $50. Ten of which you can get from your spending level, so it would only cost you 40 in your cash, and you've spent your spending level. It is, uh, quite an investment. It is. Um, I, I'm gonna do it, and then maybe then I'll give you some stuff to work with. So, yeah, so, bending level down to 10, and then I only have, like, what, $12? Uh, yeah, so you'll write, uh, next to your spending level, we'll note that it is spent for this scenario. Uh, next scenario, it will be completely replenished. Uh, but basically, okay, so. once the scenario begins, you're not going to have, like, your normal work hours and stuff, so, like, uh, you're okay. not going to be, like, kind of paying your way within the course okay. of a couple days. So, right. yeah. It's a, it's a big purchase, so yeah, you're yeah. not going to have, like, the normal money you would. That's All what right. that represents. Uh, Fair enough. So, is Fluff back? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Fluff, you're 16 weeks. Yeah. What are you doing with him? Well, uh, I want to study that book, but not so, like, I want to study it as much as I can, but still have a little bit of free time to right. raise my other skills. So, that book, as far as I believe I determined, was going to take you 20 weeks to study. Uh, you only have 16, so you could get almost done with it if you spent the entire 16 weeks studying it. Okay, uh, how about this? I'll spend 15 weeks and have one last, one last week for another skill. Uh, you would need a minimum of four weeks to, uh, uh to do yeah. it. And that would be, like, you, so normally, uh, learning skills through, like, normal methods, uh, that's gonna take eight weeks, but you can do it in as little as four, but you'll have to make, like, an extra intelligence roll to grasp the lessons quicker. Yeah. So, you'll need a minimum of four weeks to improve one skill. Uh, yep. Damn. Alright, I guess I'll spend the time uh, studying that book. Alright. Uh, beyond that, like, is there anything else you're you're doing, like, with, like, are, are you getting any new equipment? Are you going out to buy things with your newfound money? Uh, visiting anybody in particular? Uh, um. Anything in general? I'm check. I'm checking what all I still have in my thing. I think I still. I think I still have pretty much everything. Like, I know we used some of the medical kit and uh, stuff, but I. I have a, a place where I can get more yeah, of that. But you. You. You investigated a medicine cabinet. Uh, during the. Uh, during the. Uh, during your visit to the house, and you sort of replenished some of the stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I'm considering like you still have enough of your things to keep using that medical kit, like, uh, effectively. Uh, but, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna go out of your way to refill, like, everything, like, then, yeah, I'll do that. like, you know, it's, it's, okay. So you, you'll do that. Uh, that will be easily within your spending level. And so your, 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 your doctor's bag is now overstuffed with things to, uh, to, to treat anything. So you are ready for right. any situation. I did overpack. <laughs> uh, and you also, oh yeah, you guys also have the diaries of Walter Corbett. Uh, these diaries would take, uh, I guess I'll ask this in retrospect so any of you can change what you're doing. Uh, to, mm -hmm. to do this because I totally forgot to mention those diaries are written in English so any of you can read them uh, and they will take significantly less time like about I don't think I came up with a, with a date so I'll say they'll take two weeks to fully study if any of you wish to like change any of what you did to involve like two weeks of studying these things of reading I'll do that them. Uh, well, you're okay. spending the entire 16 reading, reading uh, the Confessions of the Mad Mug Clithanus. So, uh, you would not be able to spend all 16 weeks doing that and spend the two weeks doing that. Okay. You would have to 
like, make a choice. Alright, I'll just do the book then. Alright. Is anybody gonna read the diaries? I mean, if, it, if none of y'all are willing to do it, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm still... That I'm not willing, it's that I don't have the time, dude. Yeah, I'm easy if... This guitar is more important. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> you found my kryptonites! <laughs> I think you had some spare time, Adam, if I, if I remember. Or no, wait. No, you learned know. two different skills. You would have to forego one of the two. Uh, yeah, I probably won't. Uh, well, you wouldn't have to forego it. You would have to basically re-roll the thing. So, like, uh, you could choose one of them to say, hey, uh, instead of spending the eight weeks doing this, I, I was only able to take the class in six weeks. Therefore, I have to do the extra intelligence roll. But Honestly, you could still do it. Yeah, honestly, then I would just do it with uh, the music then, because I mean, like, who knows? Yeah, that, I will. Yeah, that... I will allow. I will allow you to read the the diaries and to re-roll that because I didn't mention it before. All right. Yep. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I really, really the... should have remembered. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. okay. No stress. So yeah, uh, I'll just reset the music yeah. stuff to so, forty-five. So, and then... Uh, yeah. Right. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to make uh, an intelligence roll to see, make sure you can even grasp the lessons. Okay, um, intelligence, that's, oh yeah, that's up here, okay, cool. Um, intelligence? Damn it, 76. Uh, no, not quite. He, the, the, you've joined a little bit too late, they've gone over some critical information, uh, and you're, you're kind of confused a little bit. Yeah. So, you yeah. do not gain any skill in that. But, you do manage to read the diaries, and you are going to gain some things from this. All right, let's see it. here. So you have read this these diaries, which detail the uh, basically the adventures into the occult and uh, and rituals uh, of great power that he has come to know mm -hmm. in his uh, in his some fifty additional years of extra life. Uh, uh -huh. Many of these things are very not pleasant to read. Uh, uh -huh. And you are going to lose a little bit of sanity for reading it. Not too much. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I would like you to... Make or, a well, no, the, no, no, you don't need to make a sanity roll. Uh, you, okay. you just lose a certain uh, number of sanity that's rolled. So I want you to roll a 1d... A 1d3. 1d3. Yep, slash roll 1d3. 1. All right, so you you only lose one point of sanity okay, from Hex? reading this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'll go over the rest of it while we wait. Uh, so, Adam, you gain. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you're going to gain a very important skill that you're gonna wish you had earlier. Uh, you what? are going, you are going to gain four points of Cthulhu Mythos skill oh. from reading this book and gaining its knowledge within. And that's in where? Uh, that is in your skills. So right. you have increased your Cthulhu Mythos knowledge from zero to four, which okay. means that your absolute maximum sanity goes down to 95, which, you know, you're never going to reach through normal means. But mm -hmm. So the more points you have in Cthulhu Mythos, the lower your maximum sanity is. So, like... Thanks. If you start getting really high amounts of it, it's going to start eating into your maximum sanity. Yeah. yeah. Which makes sense because it's going to be an o uh, overpowered, uh, I assume, skill in the long haul, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> you uh, learn too much. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, the reason that it's, it's really rare to come by is because, well, knowledge of it quite often conflicts as if it's not really meant to be known by human minds or comprehended by them. Mm -hmm. But you know a few, a few things. Corbett describes uh, certain uh, rituals to extend life, uh, certain ways to uh, imbue uh, certain objects with power. Uh, this power is not something you know of. Uh, you're not really even sure how to describe it to another person, but as as you read more and more passages, it starts to click a little bit more. Uh, the and man is if just you, lines. yeah, and if you were to perform an extensive study, you 
recognize that there's some speak of spell casting in here. And considering what you saw, you would you would have originally thought that something like that sounded like madness, blasphemy. I mean, the only one performing miracles out here is God, after all. But God, Jesus, in which are. But as as you, as you read, as you've taken in what you've seen so far, I mean, <laughs> that that doesn't sound so outlandish anymore. I mean, how was he able to do what he did before anyway? Mm-hmm. Uh, there is two spells that you believe you might be able to comprehend if you spent time learning them, uh, which, you know, you've already spent uh, all of your time. But you would be you would be spending, a, a, I think, probably about five weeks for each of them. Uh, mm-hmm. And you believe you would be able to learn spells called, uh, as far as you know, the Ritual of the Seven Cuts. The other one you would be able to learn is the utterance of the last syllable. Okay. That one will take you eight weeks to learn. Oh my god. Honestly, I probably can. I might just continue onward with the music. I'm like. I get like, like, like <laughs> you've read a little bit into this. You're like, oh no, <laughs> oh, no. Like I definitely under- yeah, you know, like I'll probably just gravitate towards more of the music avenue instead of the learning spells. <laughs> well, now that you have learned a little bit of this knowledge, it's it's not it's kind of Wait. burned into your brain now. You can't really you use- forget it. it. I mean, it's understandable. You could use music to hey. summon magic spells. So, so, as cool as that would have been, I don't know if that's possible. All right, so that is what everybody's free time has been doing. And now, four months later. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, dumb question. Do I have to yeah. For the music thing or no? Wait. Uh, no, because you failed the intelligence roll. So oh, yeah, yeah. you're, you're, you're kind of just sitting in class confused. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Essentially. Uh, so. The, uh, the, the free time has ended. Okay. We begin back into our delve into madness. What do you guys think of the doodles? Thank you. <laughs> they look really good. Yeah. Yay. And uh, the new year has dawned. The okay. autumn has passed you by, and now it is 1921 in January. Okay. It's cold outside. Uh, it just snowed a couple days ago. But now the date is around. Uh, I believe we. Oh, you! You're too fast for those. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Back in the moon. It is now January twentieth, nineteen twenty-one. Uh, oh my god! And one of you gets a letter, Mister Lawton. Yeah, uh. You have received a letter in the mail okay. that really catches letter. your attention, and now <laughs> it's time—it's time to open up my plot line. Yay! <laughs> and the handouts that I made. Okay, class. <laughs> oh my god! We're 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 duplicating Google Doc tabs here. Let's go. Sorry, did someone say class? Yeah, he said he's got handouts. Well, first off, <laughs> on, on, only to you, because this oh, is. Oh man, I'm so the only one that. So you re- you receive a letter, and as you open it, you recognize the person who's sending you the letter as a very old friend of your father, mm-hmm. uh, by the name of Stephen Bondell. This man, uh you remember is from Virginia uh, and uh, your your father moved down there for, for a business trip when you were very young uh, decided to stay there for a little bit and uh, those 
he became friends with this man, and you remember helping him out in his uh, shop when you were a kid. You used to cut boards for him, uh, pretty uh-huh. much. And uh, he, he, he always was a pretty good man to you. Uh, he even made sure that every day after you did that, you got paid a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, it was pretty good. You enjoyed getting the extra kind of like treats from the store with all that money. But as you open the, the letter... It becomes clear that this isn't exactly a, a social call from a man you haven't really heard from in a while. Uh, by a while, I mean you, you, you have written to him. But he, I will read the letter to you and I will send it to you. Uh, I will paste it in the chat afterwards. Okay. So as you open the letter, it, sa- it reads, Thomas. I regret to be writing to you in such a time as this, but I fear I have little choice but to come to you for this. I have a matter of the deepest urgency that I need your assistance with. If you remember, your father and I grew up in Winchester together. I remember you used to cut boards for me in the shop before you left for up north. I always told everyone that you two were, uh, you were the only two good Yankees. I apologize that I must inform you that I don't have much time left. I've come down with a condition that is soon to take my life. I must ask you, as a man cut from your father's reliable cloth, to help me in fulfilling a final wish. You wrote to me before that you visited a haunted house recently, right? Uh, I think the issue at hand is of a similar nature, and I know few men as good as you to place my trust in. As reliable as you are, though, I must urge you to bring some friends, and only friends that you would trust with your life. Gather these friends with you, and visit me at the Winchester Medical Center with utmost haste. I have no idea how much longer my body can fight the plague upon it. And that is what you have read. Okay. Yeah, Aside from the constant bombardments of gifts. Sorry. Don't <laughs> um, try to get into the theme. Don't try to get into the moment. I'm over here, like, trying not to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get into the. Um, okay. Uh, so I have posted in the uh, in the VC chat, okay. so that you have a transcript of it. Uh, okay. That is what you have read. Open the chat. Okay. Well, post haste. You n- read one more to me. <laughs> well, you see. Uh, Winchester's pretty far away. That's 500 miles south. Okay. In Virginia. You are currently in Boston. Okay. For for reference... I typed miles and this would popped up. For for reference, in in 1920s equivalent cars, that's going to be a 17-hour drive. Yeah. And, uh, so, and he I, also asks you to bring friends. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm riding my horse to my friends. Ah, you are riding your horse to your friends. Well, yes. Oh, God, make the trip to my horse. I have so much respect for you. Well, I don't have any other mode of transportation, so... Uh... It would take even longer. Adam! Yeah. Yeah. Adam! You're, mm-hmm. uh, you're kind of... You're home from your last day of uh, of mechanical repair classes. You're uh, feeling pretty good about yourself, uh, but you are a little bit tired. You're kind of relaxing your chair, one of the few times you get to relax in, in your daily life. Yeah. And from outside, you hear... What the fuck has gone on out there? Oh! Oh, you you open your door to find a uh, a very high riding Thomas Lawton on a new yeah, horse. I didn't even expect you to bring a horse rider. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> that is my noble steed. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that props. I need a name for it. <laughs> ah, what's she called? Or he? I don't know. I'm not gender biased. You have bought a ma- you have bought well. It's not exactly majestic because it was 
of 50 bucks, but it was a good enough horse. You made sure it was a decent quality since you had enough money to afford a decent one. But uh, it is a it is a male horse. Okay. Ah. Looks pretty well built uh, like, uh, for what your like general the class is. For like a few minutes, so um. Oh, What'd you, you say? Have... I said I lost connection there for like a few minutes, so I didn't hear like anything you said. Uh, basically, you have you have sh you have uh galloped up to uh to Adam's house, and he comes out a bit bewildered that he's hearing horse noises in quite honestly the middle of the yeah. city. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> but he's happy to see you, and, uh, yeah, I I've informed you that your your horse is a male horse. Uh, it's pretty decently built for, for what your general economic class is, but you had the money to afford a, a, a good horse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, uh, what you got cooking up? Well, what's going on, man? Do you want me to invite you in the house, get you some food, whatever? I have an important question. Yes. What the hell is the horse going to eat and drink? Well, not uh, the horse, but like Thomas. No, the horse. The oh. horse eat horses eat a lot and they drink a lot. Mm -hmm. I doubt you have okay. like stuff in the front okay. yard. It says grass. Oh, he's going to get technical over here. Good luck. I want to have a grass that uh, many people would consume. That's, that's all I can think about right now is what the hell the horse is going to eat and drink. Uh, I'll, it'll, it'll probably be a thing where I'll have to, like, draw extra cash, because he's already spent his spending limit, but, like, uh, he'll have enough money to afford the, uh, the feed and stuff, and then, like, once he gets his spending level back, it'll be within that spending level, uh, but basically after this scenario, because he doesn't have a spending level, I'll probably have to draw some extra funds out of it for, like, the upkeep of the horse, but... Uh, uh, essentially, it's something he can afford. So, he doesn't need to worry about it too much unless he cares about, like, losing, like, six more dollars after the investigation is done. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to think of a name for it. Hey, you know what? Adam, I want you to name my new horse. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I assume you just recently got him, huh? Yes, I did. I figured I needed my own mode of transportation. You know, I respect that. It's completely cool. Um, uh, you know what? How about uh, hmm? Actually, hang on. Actually, dumb question. Yeah. Uh, what color is the horse? Just so for I, I get at least something right. What color do you want the horse to be? Uh, uh just, I don't think I'd have like. A white or a black horse, because to me that kind of sounds like it's highly Rich. majestic. So I'd say it's a uh, generic brown. All right. Like a chestnut brown. You're back. Oh, mm. wait. That's a name. I could call him Chestnut. Yeah. Oh, Chestnut. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call him Chestnut. Yeah, we're calling him Chestnut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chestnut Winnie's happily. Okay, but down to serious business. I get yeah. off. Let's, let's uh, go inside and talk for a minute. Yeah, of course, man. What you got? So I've received this, uh, well, quite concerning letter. Mm -hmm. I, I hand him the letter so he can read it. Uh, and you are able to read the letter that was posted into the chat. Uh, essentially, that uh, that one of uh, Thomas's father's friends is relying on him to handle a situation that is described as similar to the one that you have uh, gone through four months prior. Uh, and that uh, Thomas will need to bring friends that he trusts with his life. Uh, and that most most importantly, it is something he will have to travel uh, about 495 miles south uh, into Virginia for. Mm. Okay. You are well educated enough to know probably not going to be doing that on a horse. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, look, Thomas. 
I have a car. Should we just take the car instead? You are well educated enough to know that that's going to be a 17 hour drive. You probably, <laughs> I mean, you can do it in a car. Uh, you would require definitely a lot of gas fill ups, at least two. Uh, mm -hmm. What? The? It would be yeah. 17 hours, and uh, yeah. I would recommend doing rotating drivers if uh, y'all have decent licenses and not uh, crash a car in spectacular fashion, I assume. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so wait, Hex, are you like telling us we're gonna get on a train then? Uh, I'm I'm saying you can drive. It's going to be a long drive, oh. and it's going to be oh, and much? it's it's going to be a it's going to be a 17 hour drive according to the calculations I did preparing for this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah in yeah. in 1920s uh, equivalent cars. I completely forgot about but trains. If, too. Yeah, but yeah. If we went on yeah. a train, how uh, what would that be like? Be uh, you can be on a train. Uh. You can you can take trains to nearby uh, major cities, uh, like uh, you could take a train to Richmond, to Washington D.C., to Baltimore. Uh, those are cities that are really close to Winchester. Uh, mm -hmm. You might be able to uh, even take a train to Winchester itself, uh, but that would be a that would be like going the entire distance. Yeah, honestly, uh, oh. how about this, Thomas? Let's go and you, let's go and get the group together and let's bounce off the idea on how we're gonna get there. All right. Well, let us assemble the A team. <laughs> yep. Let's go get our buds. Oh my god. Okay. All right. And uh, I assume should we take I a car know. or your horse? Uh, oh, for picking them up. Oh, we're gonna take your car. I'll just uh, hitch my horse here at your house. For your now. wife's you gonna it. love the horse. <laughs> Uh, Adam, do you have, yeah. uh, considering what might, that, uh, if you guys are going down there, you're probably going to be down there for at least a few days with the drive alone. I uh, am going to let her know, do you, definitely. Do you, do you, do you, do you have, you know, things to take care of a horse on your property? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just handed him a horse. Here, here you go. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we can solve. I mean, my but my my. I mean, actually, maybe an Wait. interesting piece of advice is we could pro probably head back to your uh, property, and then you you could see your horse in your area, and we then you could ride with me in the car. Yeah, yeah. You, you, Adam could, could drive with you. Something. You could you, you could trot alongside Adam's car. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> That'll be a oh sight God. for the city dwellers to behold. Oh. No. Uh, yeah, honestly, we, I wouldn't mind it. I, we I, I wouldn't build mind it. something. Yeah, I'll, well, I mean, I'll, all all you all you'd really need is just like a a bit of like a lead <laughs> to make sure the horse doesn't like run away or anything. Uh, yeah. If you wanted to be really really cheap about it, considering everything you've just spent, you probably do want to be really cheap about it. Uh, you could just have like a a a little post that you kind of tie the horse to, give it a little bit of. Uh, ability to walk around a little bit, make sure it has like food and uh, water that you set out for it nearby, and uh, you know that would be sufficient to keep it. You know, uh, I also I, had an, I I was having an idea. Uh, should you ask like your neighbors to see if they can keep an eye on the horse while you're gone? Like at least just you know like if you know if, as long as it won't get stolen. Come back! No, my horse is gone. <laughs> I have a bad uh, feeling it could. Because, <laughs> like, that is, like, if you... I don't if know. I honestly, don't know. <clears throat> Thomas, I... make, make, make me an idea roll. Oh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Skills. Where, where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, wait. Idea. I mean, uh, yeah. In, in where? Yeah, I think intelligence, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's just an intelligence roll. Right. Hey. Uh, you know that first off, you don't have a lot of neighbors. You're you you live in a little bit remote area, uh, and uh, your area is also one that is uh not of the nicest economic status. You have a horse, which is a pretty that's that's a pretty pricey thing. Uh, <clears throat> on the one hand, you feel like. Hey, you know, that horse could be stolen pretty easily, or or at least it could be like attempted to be stolen. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, 
you're living really close to the city. These people probably aren't really, even if they are lower class like you, they're probably not really trained to ride horses. Like, uh, I mean, you're, you, you're not the best at riding horses yet. You know the basics, but you don't think a lot of the people around here know. You don't know anybody else who has a horse. Uh, you don't know, uh, considering you're really close to Boston, like, you don't think anybody around there would have the necessary ability to, if they were to try to take your horse, to control it. And therefore, that's probably enough of a deterrent. Okay. So, I could just, like, hitch it at my house, then. Yeah, you think it would be safe enough there. Okay. Uh, we'll go with that. Alright. You do that. Uh... We gotta... <clears throat> Hold on. I got... Oh, that's right. I can... I can open up the other character sheets, can I? Yeah, you can... You can deter... I will say that it's easy enough to, like, uh... Make oh. that, or, well, it's easy enough to find the materials to make that. Uh, making it is probably a, another thing. Uh, uh, I okay. would say that... Uh. Uh. This would probably be something that Adam should help you with. Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, no. I would say this would be art craft architecture in order to build something that's stable enough to, like, resist any pulls of a horse or, uh, you know, just to make sure that everything is structurally, like, good with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, everything else you can just kind of do without a roll. Yeah. So I'd have Adam build it for me. Yep. Adam, you okay. have a 30% skill in architecture. All right, any time. Ready for the roll? Yep. Yeah, go for it. It's not so Damn, else. 41. Uh, shit. So, that's a close failure. What I'm going to say is the result of this is that some of, when you're when you're trying to build the the small little pen for it, uh you kind of damage some of your materials and you're going to need to pay for more. Uh Okay. But like you, you understand what you did wrong, so uh, I wouldn't need a re-roll for it. It's just gonna take a little bit more time and a little bit more money. Uh, unfortunately, Adam doesn't really have the spending level to draw off of. Uh, you do, so oh, I'm gonna be broke. Damn horse. Yeah, you're you're gonna need to get some more. Uh, you're gonna need to get some more wood, basically. How much how much would that cost? Well, if you want to chop down a few trees in your house, oh, uh, that's right. That would yeah. be. It would actually be I free just, to do that, uh, oh, or you could, could go to the make store. Make your own damn boards. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, I want to chop down some trees and make my own boards. And with your uh, well done axe, I will say that this actually takes less time uh, to do. Uh, and you chop out some perfectly good wood for Adam to use, and uh, yeah. Uh, you you've you've remade the thing. You think it'll be okay. Cool. So I'll say that instead of having to spend an extra like three hours doing it, you only have to spend an extra hour. Alright. Because wow, cool. that axe is efficient now. Look at we're a team, Adam. Awesome. Get, so so you've taken care of the horse. There are two okay. people to go get. Well, I know who we should get next. <laughs> well, uh, right. the, you gotta go get Floyd. Mm-hmm. Let's roll. Floyd, yeah. where would your character be at at the time? Uh, what time is it? Uh, this should be... Late morning. I'd probably be... Uh, hang on, I'm stretching. <laughs> at my office. All right. You guys go to uh, Floyd's office, uh, and uh, Floyd, you're you're in the middle of you're actually uh, not handling a patient at the moment. You're kind of cleaning up the area a little bit. Somebody yeah. was sick there earlier, uh, but then as you're doing that, beep beep. 
Uh, you're the car I, pull up. Uh, I need to re I need to reconnect. The fucking thing's weird again. Okay. You hear a car outside, Floyd. Hello. Uh, it's still weird. Uh, okay. So, so I hear, hear a car, and I, like, uh, I yell for my assistant, Hey, uh, who's at the, who's outside the office? Your assistant checks. It's Adam and Thomas! Gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like, uh, <laughs> I put my materials that I'm, like, cleaning with down, and I go to meet them outside. Uh, you actually almost run into each other at the door, because they were coming in at the at the same uh, time. Uh, uh, Sorry, the fucking thing keeps getting really weird. Okay, what did I miss? Uh, they're, uh, they're all gathering. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> they're having gathering. some struggles with it, oh, but oh, they're, they're, they are underway. <sighs> this is the efficient group. Uh, so, yeah. You three are there. And uh, Thomas and Adam, you have met Floyd. Alrighty. Who looks probably a little bit happy to be distracted from what they were cleaning up. What's going on, guys? Well, here. Read this letter, please. I know you've helped me out a lot, and I could really use your help with this. Yeah. And you are handed the letter that is in the chat. Uh, informing. Uh, I read the letter and uh, I snicker a bit the only good Yankees bit. <laughs> and as I finish reading, I nod to them and uh, say, let me go grab my med kit and uh, send my assistant home for the day. I'll join you guys in this. Thank you so much. You do all of that. And I'm just gonna hop in. I'm just gonna, uh... Well... Yeah, I'm gonna take my car to, uh, with us, uh, so that we can at least drop it off at my why house. Would you, why would you ever go in that low-class person's car? Jeez. Seriously? The only reason I'm only <laughs> taking my car is because I don't want anyone breaking into it while, I'm at, while it's at the office. Well, I mean, that, and, like, why would you ever downgrade yourself from the swag wagon that you oh have? Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we'll ride the jalopy. Oh. Oh, my God. So, now with a, uh... Now with, now with a platoon of two cars, one much nicer looking than the other, uh, you two, I imagine, are on your way to see KC. Yes, you must obtain the last one. Da -da -da -da. And Casey looks a little bit surprised to see you guys. Uh, and she greets you all with a smile and asks, what's up? Well, we might have to go on another really weird, wacky adventure again. Take a look at the letter. Here, I hand her the letter. And this was and she said she she oh. says before she says before she even receives the letter. Well, you know me, I'm all about the weird and wacky stuff. Oh and she uh, well, glad you're and well, glad you're happy uh, to hear that. She she looks through what's happening, uh, and she kind of uh she kind of has a uh, a little bit of a. Of a uh, more downbeat reaction after reading it, and says, "Well, I didn't realize it was going to be so far away." Um, <laughs> woman down. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, she says, "I'll, I'll, I'll go with you guys, but I got to make sure that my father and Catherine are going to be okay." Oh yeah, of uh, course. Yes, of course. She she excuses herself for a moment. Uh comes back and says, uh Well, my father said it's okay. Uh I mean it was hard enough explaining to him what happened the first time. Uh he just wants me to be careful, so you know. 